Saturday night's Hall of Fame induction ceremony was the essence of excellence for black college football. Just when you saw your favorite legend from past or present, you would turn around to find another and another. We're here with Doug Williams. He needs no introduction. Ed Tutal Jones, championship quarterback, Lamar Renard. We're here with Hollywood Henderson. You know this guy right here? Uh-huh, yeah, Mr. Cannon, and you know this guy over here, Amir Hall. It's been a big week. Anytime we can be able to do something like this, and recognize and notarize people that deserve the attention that they hadn't gotten over the years. And that's what this Black College Football Hall of Fame is all about, is giving guys their flowers that are, that are due their flowers. And um, I'm just glad that, it, you know, look around and, and the way it looked tonight, it's, it's a great night for everybody to come out. The night honored both the past and the present. Bowie State's Amir Hall won the Deacon Jones Trophy as the top black college football player for 2017. It means a lot, man. Just a lot of hard work paying off with me and my teammates, uh, spending a lot of time with my offensive coordinator, Coach Mo, Coach Wilson, even uh, our defense, man. They gave us a tough time in practice, and I honestly felt that I got the best look possible through wherever how long from the spring to the summer to the fall so man just shout out to everybody back at Bowie for believing in me and that was just mean a lot this trophy's for them and my family there was a special twist this year with the inaugural pro player of the year award going to the top hbcu nfl player howard's antoine Bethay, a current member of the arizona cardinals picked up the award on to the main attraction, going into the Hall of Fame this year, Southern's Harold Carmichael, a wide receiver who went on to star for the Philadelphia Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Raymond Chester of Morgan State fame, the tight end and CIAA Hall of Famer, was drafted by the Oakland Raiders, and Chester went on to win a Super Bowl ring in Super Bowl XV. Maybe, just maybe, a lot of competition there, but the biggest personality on the stage, Thomas Hollywood Henderson from Langston University. This former Dallas Cowboy enjoyed his enshrinement weekend. It's the highest honor of my life. I didn't play long enough to be in the NFL Hall of Fame. But I played good enough at a historically black college and university to be put on a team with some real legends of, of football. Uh, most of these guys are in the NFL Hall of Fame. And uh, we're moving to Canton. So we're going to be in the same building and parking lot. So uh, Hollywood Henderson is going to make it to Canton. May not be the conventional way, but I'm going to Canton. <laughs> When I joined the Dallas Cowboys back in 1974, we had a lot of talent on that club. And Thomas Henderson joined us a year later, worked his way into the star lineup, and boy, did we have a good time uh, playing together. He's just a uh, guy who was totally committed to the game. He absolutely loved football like I did, and uh, I'm just so happy that he's been recognized tonight. Leo, the Lincoln Locomotive Lewis, was inducted posthumously. Greg Lloyd, he was a star linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 90s, but he represents Fort Valley State first and foremost. Everson Walls barely missed out on the NFL Hall of Fame last week, but the red carpet was laid out for the Black College Football Hall of Fame. The Grambling University product starred for the Dallas Cowboys before going on to win a Super Bowl with the New York Giants. And then there's the coach, Bill Hayes. He continued on with his victory tour of accolades as he enjoys retirement. You know what, so much has happened in the last couple of days, and there's been so much excitement. It hadn't really hit me yet, and I hadn't really had time to suck it all in. But I tell you what, it's, it's really a pleasure to be around so many outstanding former athletes and supporters and friends. And so I'm excited, I'm, I'm happy. Um, I'm, not, I'm overwhelmed, and I'm, I'm just pleased that, that God's been so good to me and blessed me to get me a place like this. All honors were well-deserved as the story of black college football was told on Saturday night in Atlanta. I'm Tali Carr for HBCU Game Day.